Alright, hello everybody. Let's take a look at a little application that I built. Um, this application installs with Adobe Air. Uh, runs on Windows and Mac since it's using the Adobe Air platform. Um, it's a random number generator which you can use to generate random numbers for whatever purpose like you know online RPGs or um, games, whatever you want to do. Um, they're pretty handy random number generators for chance decisions and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so let's have a, after you install it with WS, just a normal Windows application or Mac application, just double click it, you can open it from the start menu, and uh, yeah, here it is. Um, first of all, you represent, uh, no, you're presented with this screen, um, you can put in your minimum and maximum values, so say I'll put in 1 to 100, and we can click this button here, and yeah, it'll just generate your random numbers. Of maximum value is 99 million, followed by a bunch of nines. That can get you quite a few random numbers there. Uh, if you don't want to type in values all the time, or you find yourself typing in comment values, we have a preset values tab up here. You just click on it and it'll pop down. And in this list you can see a bunch of presets like 1 to 2, one um, which is, you know, choosing between uh, you know, two options or 1 to 6, a dice roll. Um, to navigate the list you can um, scroll, that's the best way, or if you prefer, you can click these buttons. I prefer scrolling. Um, yeah, so we have it all the way up to 1 to 101. So yeah, when you're done, just press the bottom of the tab and it'll go away again. Now, if you want to find out what version you're using, or what version of the application and some other information, then you can click this little information button. Um, yeah, just to tell you the title, you know, copyright, development, maintained by Plus Productions, coding and artwork by myself. But the real important bit is the version, um, your version number. I'm using 1.2.0.2. Uh, this version hasn't been released yet, and it probably won't be for a little while because I plan to probably release. Um, yeah, probably by the next release it'll be 1.4 and it'll have a different name. Um, randomizer or randomator or something like that. Because I plan to incorporate random letters and random Greek letters and all that kind of stuff into it. Um, but so the current version that's available will not have this information feature that you see here. Um, but but yeah, um, next version will. And yeah, and in this information screen you can check for updates. Click this check for updates link. Um, in the current version, which is 1.1.1.8, um, down, in, down in the place of this information thing, you'll see um, some text that has your current version number. And you and you can hover over that, it'll grow larger, and when you click on it, it'll take you to the application page, which is the equivalent of checking on this Check for Updates link. If you find yourself typing in values a lot, the best thing to do is to go to uh, Compact Mode, which, as you can see, makes the application a lot more compact, and you can still use the same features of typing in values and getting your random numbers. Um, yeah, so you can get to that mode by clicking this button down here, and you can get out of it by clicking the button up there. So yeah, that'll about wrap up um, this uh, yeah little walkthrough of my random number generator application that I built. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.